Someone's created the Power Rangers Megazord in Animal Marvel Battle Simulator. But here's the question. Can Super Saiyan 4 Goku take him down? Let's find out. How's it going guys? My name is Crow and welcome back to a new video. Today we have Animal Marvel Battle Simulator and it's been a while since we've been in this game. And I thought to myself, you know... They probably have a whole bunch of amazing new workshop units in the game since the dragon update which was done recently so let's check it out let's choose a beautiful place we'll choose the first one right here and this shall be our battleground for the workshop units i have found and believe me i have found um quite a few this guy is called the abyssal dragon and i saw him in the, the picture of him in the workshop i'm like wow Yes, please. Give me a big purple dragon. And I have a purple dinosaur. Just show you guys later. You'll love him. <laughs> Let's just see what he can do. I'm thinking about the purple dinosaur. I'm sorry. There we go. Purple dragon against all of these Tyrannosaurus Rexes. Big breath weapon from the giant dragon. Fists exploded. He's just tossing Tyrannosaurus Rex in every single direction. Did you see the explosions? In his fist, if you saw the explosions, hit the like button down below. If you saw his fist go, Poof. um, I want to watch that again. Are there is there dynamite hidden inside of his fist? Let's just get in here and let's slow it down. Boom! Two times. Each fist had dynamite inside. Let me let me just take a quick little uh, quick little gander here. And our, our guys, see, is anyone? Yep, there it is. Do you see the dynamite? There it is. So that's why there was a beautiful explosion. Um, on the T-Rex is there. Purple Dragon's pretty big. He's he's pretty powerful. He's, he's bigger than the T-Rex. He's actually two to three times bigger than the T-Rex, but he's not that big. When you compare him to the Alpha King, take a look at this behemoth. What is with everybody and their purple lights? The Alpha King is a beast. Look at the claws and the spikes and the stuff on the back and the tail and the stumpy tail let's watch the alpha king go against our lovely purple dragon purple dragon unleashed the breath weapon dealing a decent chunk of damage to the alpha king and the alpha king is not advancing are you stuck is your tail stuck no you're just actually just straight up having a hard time walking no breath weapon from the alpha king he's trying to use his mouth to to bite the dragon, but he can't bend over. He can't lean forward. Maybe he's not very flexible. And it seems like our Alpha King is going to lose to our Purple Dragon, especially if there is a ring on. Let's check the HP and see what's going on. Oh no, Alpha King's got all the HP. Our dragon's probably getting stabbed by the toenails or the claws of our Alpha King. This fight is over. The Alpha King destroys the Purple Dragon. No breath weapon. A little bit shocking. And it seems like the Alpha King really wants to. Yep. Yep. There he goes. Bye. There he goes. Alpha King. Well, I did mention a big purple dinosaur, and there is a big purple dinosaur here in Animal Vault Battle Simulator. This is Barney. Maybe some of you are too young to know what Barney is. Maybe Barney's gone. I highly doubt it. Everyone knows what Barney is. He wants to give you a hug and sing I love you the entire time. And what opponent should Barney fight? Oh, I've got the perfect one for you. It's Captain America. <laughs> That's what I think about when I think about a Barney. Something fighting a Barney. I think the, the, the beacon of truth and justice in the American way against the guy that just wants to love you and hug you. It's happiness and joy versus justice and awesome. And let's see what happens. It doesn't seem like Barney has a breath weapon. Let me just take a look at his mouth. Are there? Nope, nope, no breath weapons in there. So far, so Barney's gonna come destroying the Great Wall to get at Mr. Captain America, who is um has gained a little weight. He's a little bit chunky. He's not very agile. He's not very fast. Doesn't leap and jump. He um, mindlessly walks forward as the Barney mindlessly walks forward. Maybe having the wall between them was a bad idea. It's really hard to have a, a, a convincing fight here. Oh, oh, there was a little bit of a punch there from Captain America as Barney moves in closer and closer. The problem is these trees are going to protect Captain America from the inevitable ring out of Barney, the giant dinosaur. Also, um, Barney's too big. Barney in the show was like maybe 50% bigger than a human. This guy is like six times the height of Captain America. Let's check the HP. And it seems like the stoppable force is hitting the movable object 
and nobody's even close to dying. How about we move on to the next fight? I got way better units to show you. That was hopefully supposed to be a good fight, but didn't turn out very well. Now we are talking. This is an X-Wing from Star Wars. And apparently it flies. It does have boosters. It does have jetpacks. Whoever designed this did a fantastic job. Bullets on the edge of the wings, which is perfect for the movies. If you shoot lasers, even better. Like the X-Wing looks phenomenal. And he's fighting the Dragon Zord. Remember the uh, Megazord from the beginning of the video? You're gonna see the Megazord. He's gonna come, but we're gonna start with the Dragon Zord, the Green Rangers Megazord. It looks so good. It looks just like the show. <laughs> Can the Dragon Zord take on the uh, X Wing? Oh my God, I wanted to see more from the X Wing, but the Dragon Zord said no. Let me just remove the Dragon Zord. I wanna see the X Wing. And his job, like he's flying around, he's doing a great job flying. He's actually quite maneuverable. The bullets are doing a great job shooting down at the humans. X Wing is actually kind of sick. Except sometimes it like it glides sideways. It kind of does this, kind of does that. Does its own thing. It's firing missiles. Or was that the humans firing missiles? The X Wing's cool. Let's get a uh, let's get on the look of the uh, the Dragon Zord. Okay, Dragon Zord. Let's see what you can do against Robo. Spina, a beautiful looking robot dinosaur completely constructed by robotic parts. There's not a whole lot of flesh going on in there. Let's see what the dragon zord can do. Who built the dragon zord? Why did you jack the damage to over 9,000? This unit is called the Dawnbreaker version 2. Look at the limbs floating off of this unit in every direction. He looks amazing. He's in a fight. The Dragon Zord. Why is the Dragon Zord so strong? You know what? Okay, enough's enough. Guys, I got the perfect opponent for the Dragon Zord. Here we go. The Dragon Zord versus the Megazord. Look at this. Spinning sword blade in the one hand, the elephant shield in the other, which is perfect from the show. The Megazord has the yellow leg, the blue leg, the red torso. It is perfect from the show. Can the Megazord defeat the Dragon Zord? Let's find out. Why? Why? Why is it so strong? Why? I wanted an epic fight. I didn't want to slaughter. I wanted to see the Megazord in action. So we got some Captain Americas here. The Megazord's kind of flying. Maybe he had a hard time making the Megazord walk. So something's breathing fire. Is the elephant breathing fire? The elephant shield, and why is a sword spinning like that? I guess it's a good way to make the sword actually swing. Maybe he can't bend his arms or bend his elbows because his arms seem perfectly locked in place. Makes it kind of cool, but um, that's not why we're here, is it? Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And in the thumbnail of the video, I wanted him to fight the Megazord. And apparently the Dragon Zord is stronger than the Megazord, so obviously he's going to fight the Dragon Zord. But there's one more unit I want to show you. And it's probably one of the more unique units I've ever seen in this game. What is this thing? It's like called the Devastator or something? Oh, just, just look at it. Look at the face. Look at the, the mechanical neck going into the shoulder blades and missile turrets up top. All the piping as like the fluids are being pumped through the mechanical body. The, the, the legs bent at multiple angles into these giant toes. But the gears in between. Between, this is completely custom built. Not a single thing in here is, is prefabricated from the game. And all of these toes are like gripping toes on each individual foot. This guy, it's like it's like a weird ape dog robot thing, and it's gonna fight Goku. So um Goku, I hope you're up for the challenge. Also, by the way, he's massive. Look, there's little Goku, and there's him. Can Goku win? Let's find out. Shall we? Slow mo Goku with an energy blast. Missiles being fired by our massive. What happened? <gasps> Goku! Let's go! You don't give him Super Saiyan 4 for no reason! Alright, here we go. Goku versus the Megazord. Energy blast from the Megazord on Goku. Goku trying to return fire. Goku's flying into the sky. Luckily, he can fly. But apparently the Megazord can fly and Goku's going on an adventure and the Megazord fell off the map. Okay. Well, in that case, let's remove the Megazord and we'll put the... Oh, they're, they're, they're making mistakes. Making mistakes. Remove that. Put the dragon... 
Okay, the um the Dragon Sword is the most powerful unit that we've played with today. <laughs>